Ah, what's going on guys? Um, okay, so we're gonna break down my most recent outing. This outing was actually out of the bullpen. Long story short, I was around somebody that had tested positive for COVID. So I ended up missing my start on Thursday and then finally got my results back from the test that I had to do on my own on Saturday night. And by that time, we already had a starter. So um, this is a bullpen outing. Now, we're going to get right into it and just kind of break this down. Uh, first things first, for some reason, I've always kind of been like this when it comes to bullpen and starting. I throw drastically harder out of the pen. So I think my velo last night, I got two different numbers, but uh, the board said 91, 93 and touching a 94. Whereas uh, the, the the real radar guns got 94 to 97. And I say that not to toot my own horn, but I get questions all the time as far as what your velo is. And I don't really at answer it. I don't want to be that guy, but there it is. So as you can see, like the stuff is good. Now, this was the one problem that I had in this first inning out of the pen was that, uh, now that was a cutter, was that with the added velocity, it was hard for me to like establish the movement profile that I wanted on my cutter. You'll see it eventually that I ended up going uh, after I think a, a like a flyout or something. I actually end up going over to the catcher, Dalton, uh, whitest teeth in the league, and be like, "Yo, what's that doing?" Because these guys are like barreling this up, and uh, I like having my cutter, especially given the velo. I think my cutter was ninety one, ninety two. Uh, in this outing, uh, it's just a different look, you know? So now the whole thing for me is just trying to do whatever I can in these moments to like really control my breath and really control like my thought process. The coolest part about coming out of the pen is that you're out there and it's just like, all right, let's freaking go. Like I'm not trying to, that was a slider, and it was the same thing for the slider in the first inning. You know, I'm just trying to feel for this. Uh, for me, coming out of the pen, it, you literally, there, there's no like thought process as far as setting guys up. You're typically only going to face the lineup once. So you're coming at these guys with your best stuff. You know, like whatever that is at that point in time, you're, you're going to get it. You're not trying to establish corners like you'll see throughout this whole outing. <laughs> Dalton, <laughs> so funny. He like... <laughs> He missed that and he goes like, my bad rap <laughs> in his little country accent. I don't know why that's funny. I think he's just a cool dude. Anyways, yikes. Um, so, yeah, you're just going after guys with the best stuff. Even though, like, the scoreboard, obviously, you can see 13-3. to three, Like, we showed up offensively. And, you know, I know that anytime you come into a game, like, with a score like that, more oftentimes than not, these guys are just going to be swinging and looking for their, their one pitch to hit. But, uh, you know, you can even see it just if, if you've been watching a lot of my outings lately, especially if starting, you know, I, uh, the, the, you know, the ball's coming out a lot better. I hadn't pitched in 10 days also, and I was uh, kind of itching to get back out there. So, yeah, so like I said, I'm just trying to, like, get a feel for it. I'm not overcomplicating anything, especially with the heater. You know, I'm historically known out of the pen for, like, just challenge fastballs. I'm not trying to, like, really paint corners. I'm not trying to do a whole lot of things that are so-called fancy. Uh, here it is, hit it. You know, and I think that mentality, I, I, necessar I, I can't necessarily have that as a starter. For some reason, I might just be a mental midget about this, but when I'm starting, I'm thinking about preservation, right? And I'm thinking about always wanting to go deep into the games. And if I need to complete that task, then I need to be able to kind of hit the cruise control button and, uh, you know, preserve some stuff. Now we're one, two. That was a pretty dang good pitch right there. I was, uh, I was pretty much fastball middle up, middle up, middle up, fastball away. And then we went hard in, uh, you know, and got the, the F nine. Now I'll be completely honest. I'm trying to get punchies. Right. Whereas the mentality as a starter might be a little bit different, as I mentioned uh, a little bit ago. You know, my my mindset as a starter is like, let's stay in this ball game as long as we can. Quick outs, right? Now here, 
it's going to be a different mindset for me. There's a lot of variables within that, but to be completely like transparent and honest with you guys is like, I'm trying to get signed also. So what's going to look good? Like strikeouts or not strikeouts. Right. Um, I love facing him. He's, he's got a good approach and I was really, and this, this goes with the, the thought. And so you'll see it here. So I start, I go up to Dalton. I'm like, yo, is that, is that cutting? Because my cutter was getting barreled, right? Fastball had good life. Cutter was getting barreled. So I had to, I had to know like, all right, it's hard. We know that, but is it the movement profile that I want? And he's like, no, that's moving like very, very minimally. So I literally just said to him like grip adjustment. So literally all I did on my cutter, usually as a starter, it's a four seam fastball. I just put my fingertips in that seam and just hold it on the opposite side of the horseshoe as I would have a regular four seamer. So then I shifted uh, a little, little differently there. So that was the cutter right there. It's probably one of the best ones I threw. I think I throw a better one in the second, but then I got it right. Like that, that's what it took for me to kind of get that back, get that feeling of uh you know where that was now the velo went down but the movement profile was a lot more you know horizontal so now throw it again up and in have a pretty good feel for it but i really like the way that i set up this at bat right because i doubled up with a cutter i showed a a really good one oh oh uh for a strike and then oh one i actually did exactly what i wanted to do was instead of kind of setting sights middle middle on that first oh oh one now i set them glove side so i got in and he he wanted to offer at it right held up now i really like where we're at uh we throw a fastball you know pretty good velocity you can see he's, he's down and away i'm freaking out because it almost killed somebody in the bleachers and that stuff like freaks me out because I've been somebody that got hit in the face with a comebacker and I don't wish that upon my worst enemy. It sucks. But I was like talking to the umpire right there. You know, I think he said something about this. This ballpark is the worst when it comes to that. A, I don't think people pay attention to the games. And then B, there's no really netting around like up above uh, the dugout. So, we're set up pretty good here. We're one and two again, back to back cutters. I showed that I show, I show that I like my cutter, right? So now I shake, shake. And then we throw uh, the fastball, same spot as like the previous pitch. That's a tough situation for a pitcher, right? Because here's the thing. When you throw a fastball and you see the guy, Oh, we're, we're fast forwarding here. And let's get this figured out. Okay, so this is starting the second inning. But back to that thought. When you when you throw a fastball, you see a guy, let's pause it. When you see a guy that far behind, you don't want to be the guy that then throws an off-speed pitch and has the home homeboy like freaking hit a double in the gap, pull it, right? And especially with where I was at in this outing, everything was pretty hard, right? Everything was hard. I didn't really have that much of a speed differential. So that's where I struggle with, especially coming out of the pen is I got to identify my stuff. But as I mentioned, you, you kind of want to stick to your guns and and go off what the hitter is showing you. Right. I mean, he was just extremely tardy on a fastball. I'm sticking to that because he's not showing me that he can get to that. Now, obviously hitters can make an adjustment and we won't be having this conversation if I threw that and he freaking turned on it for a homer, right? Like that's just the way the game is. But uh, anyways, second inning, you see, we scored three more runs. This is a really, really good AB. Um, This guy, uh, I love his approach, right? So he's like a free swinger, but he's not afraid to get deep into counts contact, but I think he's at nine homers. Um, higher last name, higher, just a really good approach. Sees the ball. Oh, Oh, I'm challenging him, Right. So I'm like, here you go. Hit it. And then Oh, one, same thing. No, this isn't higher. No, this is uh Cole, right? Man, I feel really bad if he's watching this and I just jacked up his name. <laughs> I follow him on Instagram. Sorry, dude. But same thing. Love facing guys like this because it's power on power, right? Especially when I'm coming out of the pen, I I just love these battles, I guess, especially being out of the game for two years. 
that those are like the little little things within the game that I've honestly missed so much is like these one on one moments where I'm basically up there and I'm like, yo, like, let's ride, dude. I'm, you know, we got a 13 run lead. Like, let's see how good my fastball is, right? Like, I'm not, obviously, I respect him as a hitter. He's a bopper. Like, he's got pop, got a good swing, um, you know, but I'm I'm in challenge mode here. So, 0-2, I think we go fastball elevated. That's a good take. And this is where I would love to have a conversation with him and ask him literally just like ask him simply like did you take that because it was completely different out of the hand meaning the three pitches before that were basically like bottom of the zone and then that one all of a sudden is a top zone so it's a completely different look therefore it's a take off the bat or was it just a take because he doesn't like the high pitch now I think the sequencing on that was pretty good I honestly felt pretty I don't know. I didn't feel soft. I felt, I guess I did. I felt pretty soft because before that whole at bat started, I'm saying to myself, like all, all heaters, like, let's see how the heater is. But then I'm also thinking like, I need to showcase a secondary pitch, right? So then that was the cutter kind of acted more as a slider, the speed. Uh, I think that one might've been like the 88 one, but you can see the movement profile increase, but, uh, you know, yeah, that's that's like the question that I would have. I love getting hitters feedback and I know hitters oftentimes aren't going to give away all their secrets, but hey. Now this is higher. So that's I really like this sequence as well. Um first pitch oh, oh, that's the cutter that I want right there. Like that was the best one I threw all game because I want that pitch. That was a Walker Bueller bat by the way that he was using. Now, I want that pitch middle, middle, fastball 90% of the way, and then a little bit of lateral movement, right? Like, I'm not trying to get a banging piece McChicken. What? I do fall in a habit, as you saw against the, the last guy, especially when I'm ahead in the count, that my cutter actually will t- turn into kind of like this hybrid slider with depth. I'm okay with that, but if that's going to be the case for me out of the pen, then I need to be able to distinguish those, right? So that OO was a perfect example, you know, not as much depth, but definitely the lateral movement that I want. Now we're going to pair this with uh, a fastball up and in. I was upset with that particular pitch because that was the prime like sequence for me going cutter, you know, uh, down and away and then going fastball down and away in that same spot and tunnel it off that. That's what I was trying to do, and I went arm side and up, um, but it actually sets up, I wanna say, no, not that pitch. (laughs) I was gonna say it sets up this fastball away for a strike, but that wasn't the case, I might have dreamt that. So we, we go, we throw another cutter there and you can already tell by that one that I kind of got in that little mindset of like, make it nasty. And therefore it did what, right? It, it, it had too much break and I didn't want that. Now two, one, we go up and in foul ball. Uh, but yeah, I think that's what, that's what that OO cutter does for me though, is it's a different look going away. Now, if I have the ability to command, not necessarily like up and in, but just like up with a shade of arm side, right? So it's a completely different look that are matching kind of the tunnels of what, you know, what you're throwing there. So 2-2, two, two, I, I stick with the heat. Again, this is, a, uh, this is just like one of those battles that I love because higher, he, he's, he rakes, might be one of the best hitters maybe the best hitter in the league. Um, and I respect the frick out of him, dude, because he's up there with no BGs. Love that. So now this is where, again, that I think that OO cutter and then the what? The 1-1 cutter really play because now we're 2-2 and we had just thrown three, maybe t- back-to-back fastballs. So as a hitter, you're respecting the cutter and you get a fastball. You can see that he was tardy. Now, realistically he shouldn't be tardy right because i think he saw two or three in a row but the idea in the back of his mind that i established within that at bat the ability to throw a cutter but 
I was also thinking that he might be thinking, this would be another good conversation to have with him, that he might be thinking that the 1-1 pitch was a slider because it did have depth. Now, that could benefit me knowing that he's thinking, okay, the, the 0-0 was, was definitely cutterish, right? Heater, 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 break. And then the 1-1 was more depth, maybe earlier movement. Uh, that could benefit me, right? Two different types of breaking balls, same spin, different movement profile. Now, this one, like, I wanted to throw a slider, especially, like, to a lefty back door. I was really upset because it was a strike. He didn't give me the strike. And it would have just been so much more dope if I got that 0-0 strike. But I'm going to take full blame on this at-bat anyways because this at-bat killed me. I start getting pretty tired. I'm, I'm kind of blowing it out, right? I haven't really... I haven't come out of the pen. I guess I did come out of the pen. That wasn't really a pen outing, my first one, though. That was more like starting because it was second, third inning. But I'm like, I'm basically max intent. I haven't pitched in a game with max intent in a really, really long time, right? Even like before surgery, um, before my injury, I was kind of starting. So now you can see that I'm really trying to blow it out. I'll you know, whatever, pat the chest, need to, need to showcase velo. But you'll, you also start seeing that my command starts taking a hit, right? That's okay if you pick your moments on when to blow it out. I hate being behind in counts. It's never fun, especially, um, you know, fastball is good life. You can see it. 2-1, that's a healthy hack. I'm, I'm just ahead of them. Now, especially out of the pen when I don't maybe have as many weapons, you know, so you can really gear up hard, hard, hard and find a barrel and it's, it's going to go far. But anyways, uh, this is where I think I get really frustrated. Probably the frust most frustration I had all night was because uh, he hasn't shown me yet that he's going to catch up to my heater. So I'm basically in that mindset of like, all right, like all I need to do is throw, throw a heater middle, middle up, um, don't really need to go east west with it. Just kind of elevate it, and we're good. We got another punchy. So that last pitch, if you notice, like I didn't mind that pitch at all. Like I was, thought that was a pretty dang, dang good pitch. I would, I'd be interested to hear his thoughts on why he didn't swing. Now that's where I'm like, what the heck did I just try to do? Because I'm three two there, and then all of a sudden I try to like paint a freaking heater down and away. When I'm I'm like taking this walk because I'm like, why did I just do that? Because this whole outing, what's made me, what's allowed me to be good is my mentality of like, here you go, hit it, challenge, 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 thick part of the zone. And all of a sudden on a 3-2 pitch, I'm a different pitcher and I try to freaking locate like a down and away fastball. Like that was, that killed me. Um, but to be completely honest, I'm, I'm hitting a wall right here. <laughs> and I hate to say it, but you can always tell when I hit a wall because that's supposed to be a cutter and it was 100% a slider. <laughs> and uh, I start taking a lot of time in between pitches. What are you going to do? But this is, this is where I was, I was proud of my ability especially 1-0 to be like, all right, dude, calm, like make a well-executed pitch. Don't need to be fancy middle down. Like, let's go. And it's always frustrating when you see the freaking board after you do that PFP and it's like 91 and, and everyone's going to see this and be like, Oh, you're 91. Okay. The board, man, never listen to a board, but a uh, quick shout out, um, Stadium Custom Kicks. You see those kicks, they, they hooked it up. Uh, the stirrups, <sighs> fighting, just oozing swag. So we're going to pause it right here, talk a little bit. Um, by the way, be an athlete. Let's take a look at that PFP again, shall we? I'm not cocky, guys, but I was like extremely out of breath after this PFP. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> so overall, uh, really proud, uh, satisfied with where I was at there. I'm actually going to maybe see if I can stay in the bullpen. I forgot how much I enjoy the simplistic 
mentality that I have out of the pen, but I do love to articulate, especially as a starter. Like there's so many little things that I love doing as a starter, like the routine. It's always been a battle for me. Um, but I think the reality of it is, is like my stuff is just better out of the pen, right? So if I'm, if my goal is to get back into affiliate ball, like I need to put myself in the best possible situation to do that. And it's probably not going to be starting dime a dozen guys that can be like 92, 94, maybe 95. Um, but bullpen, you know, my goal now is to hopefully maybe stay in the pen, see if I can hit a hundred, put myself in a different type of category there. And who knows, man, weirder things have happened in this game. <laughs> Stadium Custom Kicks, they hooked it up with the, the Custom Kicks you see. I believe I already shouted them out, but I'll shout them out again. They put my Instagram handle on them, so they're dope. Be sure to check them out on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, what else? Fighting. It's best comeback of 2020. Who else do I got? Um, Rake Baseball Company, this hat, discount, R-O-B-B-Y. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing this more often. I know the video, it's pretty tough, but what are you going to do? All right, guys. That's all I got for you. Much love. God bless. See ya. Bye.